Reggie Simmons here. I wanted to record this video to talk a little bit about some new research that's been published regarding metabolic syndrome. This condition is actually known by several names, including insulin resistance syndrome, obesity syndrome, and syndrome X, just to name a few. Regardless of the name used to describe the condition, it's essentially the same. It's where a, a certain conditions, certain risk factors are present in the same person. And there are several risk factors which are associated with metabolic syndrome. And if three or more of these conditions are present, then it can be said that someone has metabolic syndrome. This is important because about 35% of adults living in the United States are actually at risk for developing metabolic syndrome. So why is this important? It's important because if someone has metabolic syndrome, they're at an increased risk for developing cardiovascular disease and also diabetes. In fact, the NIH says that if someone has these risk factors and has metabolic syndrome, they're two times more likely to develop cardiovascular disease and five times more likely to develop diabetes. There is research that suggests that if someone exercises for as little as 150 minutes per week or two and a half hours, they can actually reduce their odds of either having metabolic syndrome or developing metabolic syndrome. Some recent research conducted by some Canadian researchers shed some additional light on this data and also metabolic syndrome as a whole. The researchers conducted the study with about 2,300 Canadians ages 18 to 64. Essentially what they did is they divided the participants into two groups, the actives and the inactives. What the researchers found is that those that were inactive were 4.43 times more likely to develop metabolic syndrome than someone who was actually active. That is, someone that achieved at least the 150 minutes of exercise per week. The researchers further divided the active group into two subgroups, the frequently active and the infrequently active. What they found is that there was no statistical difference between the frequently active and the infrequently active. So that kind of speaks to the, 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 the fact that it's important to achieve 150 minutes of exercise over the course of the week, but it doesn't necessarily have to be spread evenly throughout the week. So for example, someone could exercise an hour or so for three days in a row and achieve their 150 minutes of time or they can do it evenly throughout the week. This data suggests that it doesn't matter uh, how they conduct the exercise or when, as long as they reach that 150 minute mark. So some, some relatively important research has been conducted. Um, and again, what it shows is that the frequency of exercise doesn't matter so much as does the fact that you're actually doing the exercise. So certainly if you're at risk for developing metabolic syndrome, I would encourage you to aim for that 150 minutes per week. Uh, it's only two, two and a half hours or so. Uh, it's a relatively easy goal to achieve. And again, it reduces your risk for developing cardiovascular disease and also for developing diabetes. Hopefully you found this video informative. Certainly if you want to take a look at this information in greater detail, you can take a look at the, uh, the blog post that I wrote, uh, which is in a link down below the video. Take care.